1.2 kilometres to go. And now it's Astana who go to the front, so one of the teammates of Max Kanter. So this is his contribution trying to set up Kanter. Caleb Ewan is miles back. I don't think he'll be in it this afternoon for the win. Bora Hansko, they're still poised in the wheels. Up against the barriers, Sam Wells, but the road starts to rise. Here they come, the men in green and yellow. Here comes the train. They've got control. Ryan on the front, Ryan Mullen, and then they're being split at the moment as McClay gets in on the act, I think, from Arkea. But again, it looks as though Ineos are losing control here. It's Germaez on the wheel of Unpopel, and they're all sitting up and looking. Narvaez out to the right-hand side. Germaez gets caught in between the lead-out. This, this is a mix-up. This is a confusion here by the riders of Bora Hansgro, and it might present us with a different result here because Ineos are still leading out for the line now. The line is not very far away. Grimai is trying to get on terms, but it's not going to be at the moment. The blue jersey coming now of Wellsford. Wellsford sees the finish. He looks over his shoulder. Happy birthday, Sam. 28 today. And look at this now. His teammates there. Ryan, I think it was Ryan Mullen saying, come on. Get stuck in. Yeah. And there was Wells for just a couple of wheels back from Popple on the front and then behind him Viviani. Viviani swings across to Navar uh Narvaez, but that's Wells for coming out to the right-hand side now through the gap. Biniam Gourmet follows him through. On the right-hand side of Gourmet is uh, Lars Boven. But uh, Sammy looks over the show and says, what, I've done it again? Of course I have. Biniam Gourmet in for another second place behind the Australian. So Narvaez, he must have been starting to feel good about being able to pick up some bonuses. Viviani just simply ran out of legs on the right. But Sam Wellsford, he is on an absolute tear in this Santos Tour Down Under. Come in in really good form, wanting to prove a point. And three out of three bunch sprints. Not as clean and calculated as the first who also stayed calm kept uh aware of where he was and what mm. pace he needed to to give him but also give him open road to choose left or right when he wanted to go and in fact not being on the wheel of danny van poppel turned out i think to be better for sam wells for today he had Narvez and viviani in between him and van poppel and they just provided a springboard for wellsford to launch his sprint so it became like an extra lead out and I think if you see me, I'm, uh, I'm more skinny than him. <laughs> For sure, I think uh, around 10 kilo. Yeah, I think also this kind of finish is also suit me because it goes up to 3%. It means, yeah, if you are a bit lighter, more faster. But yeah, today I did everything what I have to do. And for sure, he's also, like you say, specialist for uh, the sprint. So yeah, I'm happy today with second place.